joining us now for a look at our forecast. For the first time in a few days, the kiddos, when they're standing outside waiting for the bus, not going to get drenched. <laughs> at least not downtown. Now, if you live further east, we're still dealing with a lot right. of showers, but at least it's not real heavy rainfall. So, still going to have the chance for maybe a shower. The further south and east you go, temperatures, though, are pretty mild between about 49 or 45 and 40, 9 degrees, even a little bit of peaks of sunshine, though, once you get out towards the coast. Of course, it is National Cereal Day, so maybe the kids are having cereal. I put on Twitter, my favorite cereal is Boo Berry. I know you can only get it during Halloween, but man, I always try to find it the most I can. Here's a look outside right now. We've been seeing the clouds increase downtown. You can see pretty thick clouds, actually. Temperatures right now holding at 49 degrees, and the winds are calm this morning, so it's not going to be a very windy start at all for most of us. 45 in Astoria. We have some uh, sun breaks out towards the coast, 50 in Salem, and then the further east you go, we're getting some rainfall. So Hood River, you could expect some sprinkles. You're waking up this morning at around 43. So here's the latest radar. Notice how we're generally dry out towards the west along the I-5 corridor, a few showers, and then once we get further east between uh, Troutdale, North Bonneville, getting some uh, light rain showers. Damascus getting some of that light rain as well with some light snow showers up on Mount Hood this morning. So if you live between Newburgh and Damascus, Tiger, this is where we're seeing a few light showers. This is going to last for the next couple of hours and then it should get out of here. The planner for today will call for partly sunny skies. Temperatures making up to around 60 degrees with uh, light south winds through the the evening hours will stay dry under partly cloudy skies and we'll probably see some fog developing most likely after nine o'clock this evening lingering through tomorrow morning. So a mix of sun and clouds out towards the coast, mostly cloudy here in the valley with a few sprinkles the further north you go. East of the mountains today we're dealing with some early clouds with some gradual clearing with temperatures in the 50s near 60 for you in Pendleton as well as the Dalles and some of those showers out towards the gorge this morning. Cascade lots 58 degrees and government camp making it up to 45. So today, weak high pressure system is basically going to keep us mostly dry near 60 degrees. And then by tomorrow, though, we start to see this system working its way in. And it's pretty fast mover, so we're going to notice those clouds really thickening early tomorrow morning, especially out towards the coast. So let's plan this out for you today. A few showers this morning, drying out by the late evening hours. So if you're headed out this evening, looking pretty good. There's 8 o'clock. Overnight to 92 tomorrow morning, notice how the clouds really start to increase. We'll see those showers developing in the morning out towards Towards the coast, so maybe you want to head out there early tomorrow morning, do a hike like Alicia's doing. It will become wet. It'll move into the valley by the afternoon hours, and then by the evening, it does look like we'll see some possible heavy downpours, maybe about a half of an inch or so for Portland, maybe out towards the coast, an inch of rain. Snow levels actually go up by tomorrow evening and then back down by Sunday. In fact, here's what we're looking at for the Cascades: around 8,500 feet, the snow or the snow level, so rain will be likely tomorrow. Sunday, we could get a wintry mix as those snow levels go down to 5,500 feet. For the coast, we'll see rain both days with temperatures in the 50s. And as we look at the extended forecast, we're going to get out of that wet period through Monday. And then by the time we get into next week, we'll dry out Tuesday and Wednesday with spring-like temperatures. Maybe a few sprinkles there on Thursday. Nothing major as now. And just a reminder to change those clocks on Saturday night. Carly.